Hello viewer and welcome to the e-learning classroom. So today we want to look at this setup that can be used to determine the resistivity of the wire we have here. So we have this setup. That is the setup we have. We have voltmeter here, ammeter, cells and switch. And then uh, the setup is as, as we can see here. As we can see from the diagram, we have the cells here, switch and ammeter. Cells, switch and ammeter, as you can see there. Then we have the nichrome in between. And then uh, we have the voltmeter on the top hand. So we have already done the connection. So we want, we are trying to close the switch and then uh, record the current and volt voltage readings. We are trying to close the switch and record the current and the voltage across the wire PQ. And then from there we'll determine the resistance. Then uh, we'll, we'll determine the resistivity uh, using the formula given down here. So the first thing, uh, let's close the switch and record the voltmeter and ammeter readings. So we have closed the switch. For the voltmeter, we are using the upper scale. So these are 10, 20, 30, 32 divisions. So 32 times 0 0.05. That is 1.6 volts, 1.6 volts. Then for the ammeter, for the ammeter we have, uh, we are using the upper scale as well. That is uh, 0 0.1. For the ammeter we have 0 0.1 stretch, 0 0.10 ampere. So we have the two values, so we can use now the two values to determine the resistivity. So viewers, now we can use these values to determine the resistivity uh, of the nichrome wire we have here uh, using the values we have obtained. So we first get the resistance V over high, so that means resistance will be 1.6 divided by 0 0.10 and that means we have 1.6 divided by 0 0.10 that is 16 ohm 16 ohm that is the resistance of that nichrome wire then from there as well So from there as well, we are trying to measure the diameter of the nichrome wire. So the nichrome wire we are using is 0 0.29 millimeters. That is the thickness of the nichrome wire we are using. We can replace the barriers. Resistance is uh, 16 is equal to, we have the resistivity times length. Length is, we are working with one meter, so one meter, then divided by cross-sectional area, cross-sectional area of the nichrome wire. So the cross-sectional area will give, be given by pi r squared. So the cross-sectional area will be given by pi r squared, and that means it will be 22 divided by 7 times if uh, diameter is 0 0.29, then radius will be 0 0.29 divided by 2, which is 0 0.145, then times, because this one will be millimeter squared, so it will be times 10 raised to negative 6, because we are, uh, we are converting uh, millimeter squared into meter squared. That is our 10 raised to negative uh, 6. So uh, let's see now. So resistivity will be, we have 16 times 
pi times 0 0.145 times 10 raised to power negative 6 and this gives us 7.288 times 10 raised to negative 6 then we also need to know what is the value the, of the unit, the unit for this. So let's see, this one is in, uh, let's work out the unit here. So 16 is home. Then we are multiplying by pi as no unit. Th this one is meter squared. Uh, then we are divided by one. One is meter. One is meter. So meter squared means meter times meter. So that is home times meter times meter divided by meter. And this gives us home meter. Home meter because one meter will cancel out. One meter will cancel out. So we remain with home meter. And this becomes now the resistivity of the nichrome wire we have used. So that marks the end of uh, today's session. I wish you the very best.